has changed so many things when it comes to um, storage limits and different things and, and how what you can send in, IPI scores, everything else. But the other thing that has majorly changed is the supply chains. And so there's a lot of supply chains that are that are being, you know, the, they're muddying up the waters right now. There's a lot of factories that are behind. Hello, if you've ever, if you have tried to purchase furniture at all in the last six to eight weeks, that's where we're at right now. We're finishing up our remodel and they're saying they're eight to 12 weeks out on ordering furniture. That is insane. Why? Because all the factories were shut down during COVID. And now that they're coming up, they're they're fulfilling the orders that they received from March until June, and then they have to make new orders. So everything is behind. What does that mean for you for Q4? Well, what that really means for you for Q4 is that you need more, you need to do a little, a couple of things first. Send inventory in early. I order early. I cannot stress this enough that you need to order product earlier than normal. And the reason being is because it's going to take longer. What's going to change in Amazon's warehouse right now? Merchant fulfilled items are going to be key for the upcoming Q4 season. Now I know we're always all about FBA all the time and you want to do fulfillment by Amazon because you don't want to process individual orders. But I've got to tell you that even me personally, I don't love merchant fulfilling, I'll be honest. But the reality is that Amazon is taking a lot longer to check in items and you want to be sure that your items can make you money. If they're sitting in Amazon's warehouse, not checked in, they're not available for sale, you've just sent them all their all your inventory to take it hostage. So what I suggest doing is sending small amounts of shipments more often and holding some of it back and creating that double listing of a merchant fulfill option and an FBA option. That way you can still do that without dealing with the um, them holding your inventory or and they don't do it on purpose. They're just backed up. They're very, very backed up and they're having a hard time with the um, keeping up with checking things in. They're adding new warehouses and all of these things are crazy. So you want to make sure that you're seeing those types of things and that you're being aware of it.